morning, everybody. Today is the morning of the 12th. It's day 116. Uh, last video was in Hanover, and since then we've gotten almost all the way through the uh, New Hampshire section and almost all of the whites. We've got like Mahusik Range is the last one that we need to do. Uh, we are in Gorham, New Hampshire, which is about 10, 15 miles away from the border. Uh, we have less than 200, or less than 300 miles to go, but 298, I want to say. And then the New Hampshire border is at mile 1910. We're at like 1896 or 95, so we'll hit 1900 today. Um, we will get to... I forgot the name of the shelter is, but it's right before Mahusik Notch, which is famous because it is the hardest, slowest, funnest mile on the AT. It's a mile of bouldering that usually takes people over an hour to do a mile, sometimes two or three. Um, but really looking forward to that. We're going to tee up at that shelter tonight that's right before Mahusik. Uh, that one or the one just prior. Within, oh, within five miles of okay. So we might go a little bit earlier. I'm going to push for the 21 and a half because I'd rather be right there. But we'll see how today goes. Um, the Mahoose, was it? Moose something. First Mountain and then Kinsman and then Franconia Ridge. Well, the first two were hard. Um, I ended up spending an extra night in Lincoln because... I was just not feeling it. I was out of it and I needed to look, take a little time off. So, um, we haven't been all sleeping at the same campground for the last couple of days, but, um, it's worked out. Um, after Lincoln, I got onto Franconia Ridge. I was about two and a half miles behind the guys, uh, caught up with them and we were in, so Franconia Ridge is first, then you go through Crawford Notch and you We've already hit a bunch of 4Ks by then. Um, and then you get into the presidential range, I think. Yeah, presidentials are next. So that's when we did Washington. Didn't get any good views. Uh, Washington is usually socked in with clouds anyway. But I got a couple of good, great shots up and down as the clouds broke. Um, and then some good shots of Washington almost completely uncovered after that. Um, we all went to, um, to Osgood Camp campground after the presidentials and the three of uh the four others decided to go into town to resupply i didn't need to um but then they decided to stay in town because it was taking so long they're about 10 miles away from gorham and i pushed ahead so i started doing the wildcats and the carters before anybody else and got to m campground they stayed in town and then yesterday i went the rest of the way did mount mariah and the eight miles I had left to route two got to the hostel that they stayed at and they slack packed the 20 mile section that I had done over the last two days so we're all synced up now I'm about to cross uh, into the last section of New Hampshire and then um, I think Mount Success is our last mountain in New Hampshire before we get into Maine and the final state and the final book of gut hooks and the last 300 miles getting kind of real right now don't want it to end but um it was going to i really wish it was back in new or in georgia and north carolina when i was looking at the map and there's still like 90 percent to go but right now we're equivalent to going from springer to hot springs about about 20 miles short of hot springs which is um just past the smokies and then um, we're, we've caught up with the bubble, with the northbound bubble. There's about 20 other Nobos here that we haven't seen that have all started in like March and April. Um, we're going to push past them because they're definitely the party crew. Freaking bugs. Um, and then, jeez. Um, but other than that, everything's going pretty good. Um, no real serious injuries. Uh, just scrapes New Hampshire honestly I'm a little disappointed in New Hampshire um, we had expected to be 
hiking harder mountains, but there, you know, there was an element of danger, I'll say, that I didn't appreciate. Climbing up and down waterfalls is one thing. Or no, a hard trail is one thing. Climbing up and down waterfalls is a different thing. You can have a hard trail and not have it be dangerous. And I think that's my problem with New Hampshire, is that some of the trails go from being hard to being hard and dangerous. And I just think there could be better trail management. But other than that, like, I don't mind going straight up. Um, I mind going down on wet rocks through a waterfall. That just seems unnecessary. Um, and uh, Dartmouth needs to do a better job maintaining their campsites, too. Their privies were disgusting. Um, saw a lot of their... So, at Dartmouth, 98% of freshmen apparently participate in this orientation program where they take people out to go um, camping for a few days as uh, an introduction to the New Hampshire area. So it was really cool to see those guys out there. Um, gave us a ton of food and um, filled up the privies, basically, is what they did. Um, but... Other than that, everything's going good. Missed some rain yesterday. Weather's been pretty decent. Should hold out for the next couple of days, but we might get rain on Saturday. I think today's Thursday. We got like two two good days and then rain, but we might hike out from underneath it. I'm not sure exactly what the pattern of the weather is, but one of the hard things is getting a weather forecast for a few days out, and then you're 100 miles away from that location. Um three days after you've taken a look at the forecast so um it is what it is but we should be finished on the 26th um we slowed down a good amount in the whites we might make up some time um but we'll see what happens maine and new hampshire have been different or new hampshire has been different and maine's supposed to be more of the same so um just keep pushing forward so this rope that's attached to the tree goes all the way down to that water. Just climbed up. Absolute lifesaver, whoever put this here. Probably Dartmouth Outdoor Club. Good stuff. So we we're less than a mile from the top of Musalak. <coughs> You can kind of see the Karens, where's my finger, going up right there. And then that little stick or line at the top is the peak. First 4K in the whites, did 27.7 yesterday, so we marathoned in the whites because we've been in the Whites National Forest for a little bit. Some people may argue that because they say Musalak is the start of the whites, but... I'll take what I can get. top of Jackson Mountain, one of the presidential, um, behind the clouds in that general area is Washington, should be there tomorrow, and a little white dot on the side of the hill, but if you can tell it's an actual building, that's where the, what are the huts are, I have some strong feelings about that, but I'll probably have those in the, uh, earlier talk, um, So we're on the trail right between Mount Pierce and Mount 
Eisenhower heading to Washington today. As you can see, we're socked in with clouds, but the sun just came out, so it's going to burn this all off. It's supposed to be clear today, so we got a good summit day for Washington. I just wanted to do it before and after the sun, like I can't see anything. I can't wait till this all burns off and Washington's just looming in the distance. See what that looks like later. So, never got the view of Washington that I was hoping for. This is about the clearest it's gotten. You see that ridge line to the right is where we came down. Right there. Under the cloud line there. And you can see the road where the cars go up to Washington. And we're just coming up. This nice rocky little outcrop came down from there. And as soon as we get up and over this, presidentials will be done. It'll be time to start the Wildcats, and New Hampshire will be done. To give you an idea of the trail, we are just starting the ascent out of Hickman Notch. And you can see that blaze right there is where the trail goes. And then just came from down there. These trails are like rocket ships. You just blast straight off into the sky. But we just have the Wildcats and the Carters to go. And then we're out of New Hampshire. <laughs> 